Yesterday I talked about how uh, we have a problem in the body of Christ, uh, that we are not walking in the power of God. That's not to say that there aren't any uh, people, the believers that, that aren't, uh, or any uh, certain groups, churches that, that aren't, uh, but by and large there's a lot of people that are powerless, that are bound up in chains and, and not overcoming. They're, they're walking in defeat uh, and they have nothing to offer uh, the people around them in the world. So what I want to talk about beginning today is why. Why is that the case? Why aren't we walking in the power? And the first one is I believe that we, we aren't walking in faith. We don't, we don't even understand what faith really is. Uh, at least a lot of us don't. Uh, we have lived in a very, uh, we, we live in an amazing time. Uh, we, we have computers and technology uh, beyond anything that we could have ever imagined. Uh, and we are very, a very educated people. And education is great. Uh, but we have elevated the mind, we've elevated science, we've put it on the throne and we've kicked God off of it. We try to explain every little thing away. You know, I, I, if, I, we try to allegorize the things of the, the Bible. I read something a while back about a guy uh, who was teaching at a Christian university and he was trying to tell people that Jonah was not really uh, swallowed by a fish, uh, that that was just an allegory, trying to get across a point. Uh, that's baloney as far as I'm concerned. God absolutely, the, the, the accounts that we have in the Word happened the way that they say that they did. And for us to, to get away from that rips out the heart of the Word of God. In Luke chapter 18, verse 15, it says, uh, they also brought him infants that he might touch them. But when the disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called them to him and said, Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for such is the, of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. What did he mean there? That if we don't become like little children, we're not going to enter the kingdom of God. Well, I believe he's talking about childlike faith. We've got to believe. We've got to trust. Uh, we've got to, to just have that childlike faith that, it, that you know, that will allow us to believe that what God says is what he means and that he can do what he says he can do. Hebrews chapter 6, uh, oh, excuse me, 11 verse 6, says that uh, without faith it is impossible to, be, uh, to please God. Not just to believe that uh, he exists, but that he is a rewarder of those who serve him. Uh, and so to me, that saying, yeah, it's one thing to believe that God is there, but to really please him, you have to walk in a belief, in a faith that he is a God of the miraculous and that his power is available to us, his grace is available to us, and that he wants that power to flow through us. He is a rewarder of those who seek him. Uh, and so you and I have got to seek him to walk in the power, and that's another uh, thing that, that we'll talk about uh, probably along the way. You know, in... Uh, Mark chapter 6. Mark chapter 6. Um, I was surprised one day years ago when I read this verse, but it says that Jesus could do no mighty, no mighty work there, no miracles there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and he healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And then he went about the villages in a circuit teaching. So this right here tells us, you know, I used to think Jesus could do whatever he wanted to do, but it says that he was limited in his power. Not that his powers was limited, but his power was limited in their lives because they had a shield up blocking his power called unbelief. They refused to believe. They were just, you know, think this is just Jesus, the carpenter's son. Uh, and, and they refused to allow his power uh, to come forth in their life because of their unbelief. Now, Matthew chapter 9. beginning in verse 27. It says, When Jesus departed from there, two men followed him, crying out, saying, Son of David, have mercy on us. And when he had come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? And they said, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, and say, eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus sternly warned them, saying, See that no one knows it. So here he says, 
Do you believe? He asked him a question. Do you believe that I can do what I say I can do? And he's asking the same question today. When you read about what he says he can do, do you believe that he can do it? And then he says, when they answered yes, there's a lot of people that say yes, but he says, okay, then let it be according to your faith. Uh, the measure of your faith will be the amount of power that comes forth in your life in this situation. And I don't know about you, that's kind of humbling because he says, let it be done to you according to your faith. And I don't know about you, but uh, I would hope that my faith was big so that his power could come forth in a big way. Romans 12, 6 says that we're supposed to use the gifts that God gives us, specifically there, the gift of prophecy, in proportion, proportion to our faith. So if God has blessed you, he wants you to have a faith that is large to use what he's given you. And then finally, in 1 Corinthians 14, 37 and 38, I won't read it, but it's talking about the spiritual gifts there. And he says, if anyone of you is spiritual and believes what I'm saying, then, then that's great and you're going to see it. But he says, let the ignorant be ignorant. And he says, if you don't believe it, you're not going to see it. And there's a lot of people that say, well, I don't see anybody being healed. I don't see any uh, miracles happening. But you know what? They're not going to see it because they don't believe it. And I don't know about you, but today I want to make sure that my faith is allowing the power of God to work in me. Today he wants you to experience him in a mighty and powerful way. If you need help with that, let me know. If you have questions, I'll be glad to talk to you. You can send me a Facebook message, comment on YouTube, send me an email at curtis at rootsbythestream.com.